Experience ready. Aloha, everyone. Good evening, and welcome to Free Dao Wellness Evening. <clears throat> I am delighted and happy to introduce to you our presenter for tonight. Um, she has been an occupational therapist for over 25 years in various settings, including home health, um, home health and um, skilled nursing facility, and currently in acute rehab. I have learned, she have learned the teachings and practices of doctor and master Sha since 2009, and currently a certified master teacher of the Master Sha Dao Academy. The wisdom and Tao practices that she do daily have truly helped her and her family transform every aspect of life with more love, peace, harmony, and light. It is her greatest honor and joy to also be able to help others become happier, healthier, and empowered to transform their lives. And without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Chemi Ban. Welcome, Chemi. Aloha. Thank you so much, Ria, for that warm introduction. It's so wonderful to be with all of you on this nice kind of blustery, uh, wintry day, which I love. As Ria had mentioned, I'm an occupational therapist. And as you can see, I just kind of got back from work, so my, my clothing. However, I'm so happy to be with you here in the Dao Calligraphy field. We are really in the highest Dao connection to Dao and the source with the positive frequency, vibration, energy, and matter that really can help to transform every aspect of life. So for me, I always look forward to coming to the Dao Calligraphy field, especially after a long day at work, well, when I've been at the hospital and just kind of going through, you know, all of the different areas that I'm working with people on, you know, so for occupational therapy, what we do is we help individuals who may come in to the hospital, either with an illness or a weakness, they may have fallen, they may have had a stroke or a heart condition, or it could be all various things, trauma. Um, and what we do is once they're, you know, pretty much med medically stable, the doctors order the therapy, we go in and we help to mobilize them. We help to increase their ability to manage their self-care skills, whether it's through, you know, teaching, uh, modified techniques, and we're really seeing how their body responds to activity and what we call ADLs or activities of daily living. All of our things we take for granted every day in our life. And just like with anything, you know, when I'm in the Dao Calligraphy field, I do know when we're in it, sometimes we, and we can feel the changes and the love and light. Sometimes too, we also do take for granted what we have been given from Master Shao, who has created all of these beautiful sacred Dao Calligraphy fields for Mother Earth, for humanity to be able to come to, to receive all of the positive messages, frequency and vibration, really to help to transform any negative messages to the positive messages of Tao love, or greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility, greatest harmony, greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude, greatest service and greatest enlightenment. And so behind me, we're all so blessed to have this beautiful sacred field here on Maui, as well as we have a level two Dao Calligraphy field with Malia. And around the world, Master Sha is creating all of these fields to increase that frequency and vibration um, where you are within you, as well as when you are um, wherever you're living. So, let us take a moment to really show our gratitude and to just connect and be in the field, to have this great respect and honor that we are really connecting to the Tao and the source, the oneness with, again, the highest frequency and vibration, pure love, 
in forgiveness. So behind me, I'm going to introduce the Dao Calligraphies to you. For those of you who may be watching the recording or first time here, behind me is Da I, greatest love, greatest love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Greatest forgiveness. Greatest forgiveness brings inner peace and inner joy to transform all life. Again, Da I in Mandarin is uh, greatest love. Da Quan Shu is greatest forgiveness. And here we have Da He Shit, secret to success. Really, when three hearts join together as one, or more people come together as one, which is truly the secret to success. So, Da He Shit, greatest harmony. So, when you're connecting to the Da Kli Kli field, when you're in this field, and when I'm here, after how kind of moving around and thinking about it's so calming and relaxing. So close your eyes in this moment and just visualize this beautiful field. I'm gonna get move out of the way so you can connect. For me, I've taken off my slippers. Um, before I come in, I just offer gratitude and uh, have great um, honor to be here. So sometimes at home, if you are connecting, you can maybe dim the lights. I have to keep the lights on so you can see. Or some people like candles. However, you um, want to create your own environment when we're connecting to the dog click tree field. So if you can keep your space also more quiet. I know it's, sometimes it's hard. It's the holidays. And for me to being at home, all my children are home. So it's a little bit more um, uh, entertaining, I should say, which is nice. But also when you're in the Dao Kali Kri field, take this time to just relax, appreciate, enjoy the sacred Dao calligraphy space. So breathing in, as you breathe in, Visualize a light radiating from your the Dao Kalikri field into your lower abdomen. Visualize that you are within this Dao source light field, and this Dao source light field is within you. And as you breathe in, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And try to let go of any thoughts in your mind that are may not serve you. See if you can quiet your mind and open your heart to just appreciate this beautiful feel. You can use creative visualization if some of you may have your um, spiritual imaging or eye open so some people could see the light what we can do as well though is everyone has this ability to create and visualize that light within you and around you visualizing this is your mind power or your body power you can either place your hands on your lower abdomen. Again, where you place your hands is where you receive benefits for healing and rejuvenation. And as you connect to your body as well, see if you can keep your feet flat on the floor, keeping your head and neck in alignment with your spine. I just didn't want to block the dao clip if you feel. And see if as you are relaxing, slightly tuck your chin in. Relax your shoulders and roll them back a few times. See if you can just drop your shoulders down like your shoulder blades are relaxing, your fingers are pointing towards the floor. But you're aligning also all of your seven soul houses in your, or your seven chakras, and visualize your whole body like 
through your spinal column getting taller, elongating, and radiating in this dial calligraphy field. So as we are in this field, you may get messages or guidance, or you may just have different sensation. Some people also may um, start to have maybe increased pain or uncomfortable feelings. Sometimes that's really allowing the negative messages to be released and the positive messages are coming in to help to transform it. So please share in the chat if you're feeling any, any way, whether it's, you know, um, less pain, if it's more pain, let us know too, so that we can also um, help you through that process. Again, every experience is part of the journey as we are moving through this journey of transformation. Again, transforming any negative messages or information to the positive message information to help each one of us become happier, healthier, to empower ourselves to be able to transform every aspect of life. So take a moment as well, as we're in this beautiful Dao calligraphy field, the wellness evening, this is a wonderful time to come together. Again, this is a complimentary evening. But when we are here together, we are really helping to span this beautiful love and light field. For everyone is made up of a soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter field. So as we are connecting, you can visualize all of the light. We also have Tao light transmission. We can connect to them and turn them on like a light bulb in our whole body. And as you're in this field again, connecting and aligning and just relax. And as you are doing that, I am going to show you a short video that I've showed before, but this is one of my favorites because it gives the foundation of what Master Shah has created for humanity and gives us a better understanding also um, of what the Tao calligraphy field is about and, and Tao science. So let me share this video. And as you are watching the video as well, just relax your body and know that you are in this field. So you can also connect um, and just allow the light to radiate into any area that you may have any discomfort. You may wanna rate your pain level or discomfort level on a scale of zero to 10 to see um, if there's any changes, transformations. I'm gonna share this wonderful video. Again, every time you watch it, I always learn new things. So you can either keep your eyes open or close your eyes and just receive the positive message, frequency, and vibration from the video and the Tao calligraphy field that's behind. Modern discoveries have led to longer, healthy lives, to better systems and technologies. But in our pursuit of science, we forgot something important. We lost sight of the bigger picture. In our need to understand the individual parts, we dissected reality into smaller, smaller pieces. We focused our attention on one piece of the puzzle at a time and forgot about the whole puzzle itself. This has created the idea that everything in our world is separate, that life is nothing but a random and disconnected series of events, when in reality, we are all more connected than we could ever imagine. Everything in this world is closely linked together by what we call a vibrational field. This vibrational field can't be seen by the human eye, but yet it affects everything you experience. What if the life you always dreamed of wasn't that far away, or the remedy to your chronic pain was as close as the pain itself? What if I told you that the solution to every challenge in your life, from your health to your relationships and finances, was as simple as tapping into the vibrational field exists right next to you. And what if this wasn't just a spiritual theory, but a scientific reality?
We're not an isolated being. We are made of vibrations. From a scientific point of view, each one of us is a quantum field. So our quantum field extends over space and time and carries the information. So quantum field is a fundamental building block of everyone and everything. We can feel this body, we experience this body, but we feel like we're not experiencing this quantum field because they are the most subtle building blocks. They determine our life in the deepest level. This quantum vibrational field not only links us all together, but contains information that impacts our lives, information that can determine who we are, what we feel, who we will be. But this information can be changed changed by understanding this formula. Grand unification formula, S plus E plus M equals one. So hard mind, which is S, and the E is energy, and the M is matter. So when they all come in together, then we can go back to our true self and we can gain unlimited abilities and the powers and all the manifestations can occur almost instantly. Plus E plus M equals one. All this is balance. If we have a challenge in every aspect of life, we are not the best. Our S plus E plus M are not equals one. So therefore, we have to remove the blockages. How to remove blockages? Down click with it, down sound, downward are the tools. S plus E plus M equals one. Why is the field, down click if you feel, down sound field, down water field, one is the field. The grand unification formula teaches us that everyone, everything are made of Shen, Qi, Jing. And all of our challenges and difficulties are caused by blockages within the layers of Shen, Qi, Jing, within our vibrational field. Now, humanity is mostly focused on the matter. We forgot the information in our vibrational field actually plays a key role in every aspect of our life. The information is basically possibilities. Even before human exists, even before stars and galaxies exist, there's a source, the emptiness. This is teaching information. Spirituality teaches so much. In fact, the soul is the information so. Every quantum vibration can either be absorbed or emitted. It is your spiritual heart that holds the key to retaining more vibrations, to holding more positive information, energy, and matter to change your life. So our quantum field contains the information. To receive this information, spiritual heart is a receiver, and then the mind is just processing the information. So the heart is the key, actually, for healing, for making progress. And the mind is process. So we still need processing. I believe the heart is more important. In fact, we have this training with Master Shah. He teaches us how we can connect with a quantum field and get information. By connecting you with the source vibrational field and help you to remove the negative information so that your life can be changed in every aspect. Ultimate creator is source. Tao is not a religion. Therefore, Tao click with it. Tao sound, Tao water. I'm mean, just a servant, a vessel. Connect with it. Tao. Tao put the power within. Then people connect. Tao click with it. Tao sound, Tao water. What we offer in Tao science is apply this positive feel. Connect with it. Click with it. Listen the singing. Drink the water. So this Tao frequency vibration coming remove negative information energy matter. Quantum physics teach the vibration. So we teach positive, negative. Negative information causes the sickness. Positive love, life, physical way the result. Not only your pain be released, it could be also next thing you know, oh, you get a better job, you become happier. Your relationship with your beloved ones, your family suddenly become better. The business you're running somehow suddenly become more profitable, uh, more enjoyable. <laughs> so every aspect of your life could suddenly change. And this is what I think is most empowering thing everybody should learn. After I learned this, I literally have no question. Because whenever I have something I want to know, I ask and I get the answer. The solution is connect with the source. We all have the source nature. We have a limit. The wisdom and the power are limited abilities, spiritual healing, scientific formula. Discover more 
at drshah.com. I hope you all enjoyed that wonderful presentation and that um, video on really the foundation behind the Tao calligraphy field and that truly when we're in the Tao calligraphy field, it is transforming again the negative information or messages and helping to increase our frequency and vibration with a positive message, information, energy, and matter. So, you know, when you're in the Tao calligraphy field, you can't help but feel joyful. Like I just come in and so much light. I feel so excited to be here again after, you know, um, being in just a regular space, I should say. And also with people who may be going through more challenges. So again, the messages that they are having within their soul, heart, mind, and body too may not be as, a, as positive when you're in a lot of pain or you have difficulty moving, you know, you're feeling weak or tired. So again, I love to incorporate the wisdom and the teachings that I've learned from Dr. Master Shah into my practice, whether it's exercising or helping them to just kind of change the thought. Like if someone had a stroke today, I'll be like, he'll be like, oh, why is my hand so weak? You know, and I say, it's okay. You just give more love to your hand. You send love to your hand and just keep saying you're getting stronger every day, sending the positive messages to that affected side where he has a stroke. And it's really a miracle. This person has really um, come a long way. And he does. He does his own way of prayer. You know, he he's always saying, God bless you. And I love you. So sending messages to others. He's very friendly. And he's never given up to the fact that he could get better. You know, um, it's, it's amazing the people that I do see and I treat every day in the hospital. There's a big difference with how people's attitude and their own, um, not only mind power, but their spiritual aspect or whatever faith they may have. It's really important, again, to be that positive message information and that what they're telling themselves, because things do become like a self-fulfilling prophecy when you start to, you know, say, oh, I can't do it, or it's too painful, I can't, you know, so you, that's all you tell yourself, like, I can't do it, or I'm not getting better, or whatnot. So we want to transform that and know that we all have this power within us to change our perspective, to increase that positive frequency and vibration. And we can do it on a level where we're thinking through our mind as well as our heart. However, when we are in the Tao calligraphy field, it really helps to enhance it and transform it um, in a much more faster way. And really in a way that for me, myself, I, I still can't really understand fully, even though I've been practicing for a while and I incorporate it into my life. I know for myself, I'm not appreciating and using the Tao calligraphy field and all of the tools and techniques and transmissions that I've received to its fullest potential. So when we're together in the Tao calligraphy wellness field, it's really to help each one of us to, again, increase our frequency and vibration and to have a better understanding, awareness, alignment, connection to this beautiful field. I really have the greatest gratitude for the sacred space that we are in. So we're going to begin. Um, and for those of you who just joined us, thank you all for joining with some breathing. So this is what we incorporate uh, a lot of times before we start our practices, as well as I do this every day with most of my clients. Again, we take for granted our breathing. We take for granted that we can see or we can hear or we can move around, we can brush our teeth, we can go to the bathroom, you know, um, talk. So as we are doing our exercises in the Tao calligraphy field, as we are doing our practice, and we'll also be tracing the Tao calligraphy field, um, the Tao calligraphy is behind us to increase that frequency and vibration and get that positive message. Today, we're going to focus on greatest love. We're going to really help ourselves to just enjoy and just 
uh, connect even further. And so let's close your eyes as we connect and visualize a light reading with and on Fridays as well, we do uh, in our group, group monthly Dao Kling Free Wellness program, where Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we have special sessions um, for our and do different practices. On Fridays, I, I love joining on Fridays because I'm leading the exercises in the Dao Kling Free field. And I know that's what's helping me maintain my flexibility, my balance, and being really able to um, connect more fully as we are aligning with this beautiful field. So visualize a light, like a, you can close your eyes and visualize maybe like a lighthouse or this big portal of light radiating from the Dao calligraphy field. I'll, I'll see like three of the light just coming together into your lower abdomen. It's like a laser beam into your lower abdomen. And as you breathe in, Inhale, relax your whole body. Visualize that light that you're breathing in, just radiating and lighting up all of the cells, cell units, bases in your body, throughout all of your circulatory system, through your, all your nerves, muscles, tendons, skin. And as you exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. So if there's any tension anywhere, just let go. If there's anything that's weighing down in your heart or your mind that you've been concerned about, see if this is a time where you can just let it go and connect to the greatest love. Greatest love melts all blockages, transforms all life. Inhale again. This time, relax your whole body. Drop your shoulders down. Slightly squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're increasing your um, your spinal, like your height. You're just trying to elongate your whole body. So I'm trying to just kind of open up my chest, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Trying to elongate also my neck so it's not like forward, it's slightly tucked so that I can feel that alignment from the base of my torso, your first soul house or your first chakra, aligning all the way up to the top of your head, your crown chakra, connecting to Mother Earth and to the universe or the Tao, whoever it is that you connect to. And visualize now the Tao source light radiating from the Tao calligraphy field all the way down to the top of your head, like you're receiving a beautiful shower of light. And just bathing you. When you're in the Tao calligraphy field, it really is like you're receiving this light back to clean out all the stuff that we can let go of, that we picked up throughout the day or the week. Deep breath in again. This time we're gonna stretch our arms out. Again, incorporating some exercise into the practice, stretching your arms out as you feel comfortable, wherever your end range is, no pain. Just relax the body and just visualize the light as you're gathering it from the Tao calligraphy field. So for some of you who may also be, you know, Auntie Betty on the mainland, so it's later in the evening for you, like close to bedtime. So just relaxing. A lot of times when we're doing our exercises on Fridays, it's in the morning. So we're doing a little more energetic type of exercises. But today we're going to do a little bit more relaxing, but still stretching, helping with our flexibility incorporating this beautiful Tao calligraphy field with the positive message of greatest love. The greatest love as you breathe in, you receive this greatest love in your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Thank you. One more time. Greatest love. That's the positive message for Da'ai. Greatest love into your whole body. 
One more time, deep breath in. As you exhale, let go. Almost like some nice slow movements, like Tai Chi movements as we prepare to do some tracing later. One more time, deep breath in. This time, just relax your arms down. Palms up like facing forward, and we're gonna just bring your arms out to the side, breathing in and stretching your shoulder blades back again. Offering our greatest gratitude to the Tao Kriya. So we've incorporated our body power, which is how our body is aligned and where we're kind of focused on. Our mind power is creative visualization. The sound power that we use is what we say or what we think, what we trace, what we do is what we become. So grace is love. It's a wonderful, powerful, positive message that we're sending to ourselves, this affirmation of grace is love with all of our whole body, from head to toe, skin to bone, our whole being, radiating in greatest love, greatest light, greatest forgiveness, greatest harmony. And then for our soul power, it's a say hello. So we're going to connect to that. And this time you're going to just place one hand in front of your heart or your message center, like in front of your sternum, slightly away from your body. The other hand slightly below your navel, in front of your lower abdomen. And whatever you feel comfortable following along, or you can also say your own hello, which is to acknowledge the outer souls and the inner souls, as well as to offer positive affirmation, gratitude, and love. And you can also make a request for any um, life transformation, whether it's for your physical body condition, health condition, or mental, emotional, um, finances, one relationship. So think about one area in your life. So as we are making that one request, um, we're going to transform it and allow the love and light to appropriately offer this positive message to help you transform that area that you face. So close your eyes, visualize again the Tao calligraphy field radiating into your lower abdomen. Deep breath in. And you can say it silently in your heart, or you can say it out loud as well, whatever you feel comfortable. Dear the Tao calligraphy field, of greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest harmony, which is connected to the Tao and the source, positive frequency and vibration. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I am so grateful to be in this beautiful, sacred Tao calligraphy field. Thank you. As you're connecting, continue to visualize that light radiating within you and around you. Dear all of my Tao light transmission or treasure, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please turn on. Please help to bless or transform and now you can make a request for a blessing as appropriate thank you deep breath in now as you have received any Tao like treasure many of you have and if you haven't Actually, everybody has received the Dao Light Treasure. It's like this light ball or transmission that you can turn on, just like you're turning on the light. And then in your body, you can just visualize that light radiating out. 
And again, the more Tao light transmission that you received, the more light that comes and radiates out. And again, you need to also practice when you have received these Tao treasures, just like when you're in the Tao calligraphy field, it's something that you want to do, um, you know, if you can every day, if you, you know, or at least routinely so that you can continue to increase that frequency and vibration, receive the love and light. It's like taking a bath every day, right? We take it up, take a bath every day because we know we need to clean up all the dirt or perspiration or whatever it might be that we, we take on throughout the day, um, get rid of the odors or the dead skin or whatever it might be on a physical level. But when we're in the Tao calligraphy field, we're really receiving the Tao light transmission to help us to have this beautiful light bath to really go down to the deeper levels of our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Again, soul is the boss. And when we are changing that message from that soul level to the positive message, sometimes it does definitely take some time as you practice it because we've accumulated those messages over time as well. It's like with anything, even with occupational therapy and physical therapy that we as a physical therapist or speech language, you know, any kind of therapies that you're in, whether it's a behavioral health type setting as well, it takes time to transform um, people's, you know, coping strategies, whether it is, or for me, when I go in to help teach them how to modify the way that they put on their pants or to help them to get stronger or increase the activity tolerance. It just takes time because if they've been ill for a long time, their bodies need to start to, um, also maybe their got changes in their medication need to you know, get used to, to that as well as you know, help them just with the whole process of getting stronger, getting better, getting better balance so that they can manage all of their self-care skills so that they can ambulate safely to the bathroom or whatever it might be that is their goal to be able to go home. Um, so even when we're doing the Tao calligraphy field practices, it's important to routinely be in the field, to receive the love and light, to continue to transform that area of your life. Again, it's like an ongoing thing. It's really, we're all on this beautiful journey together. So as we're connecting, you made your request, let it go. And we're gonna connect and do some exercises in the Tao calligraphy field. So again, feel how your body is. If you notice any um, imbalance in your posture or you feel like you're shifting one way more than the other, this is a good way to just kind of help to align as well. Think about also your thoughts, if your, your mind is wandering. See if you can bring it back to the Tao Kalei field and then keep your mind focused more on your lower abdomen. This also helps us to stay grounded. It helps us to increase also that breathing power we want to bring from our lower abdomen. So before, excuse me, before we start, can do what we call a quick breath test again. Put your hand on your lower abdomen, one hand on your chest. When you breathe, you want to make sure that your lower hand is moving. And as you breathe in, the lower hand moves and the top hand doesn't move at all. So you want to make sure that your, your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, breathing in from your lower abdomen, and then just relax and exhale. Again, inhale, visualize the light, greatest love into your lower abdomen, and exhale. So you're gonna practice that breathing as well when we are doing our exercise, okay? So if you notice that your shoulders get tense as you're doing exercises, try to relax the shoulders and just breathe from your lower abdomen. And just feel comfortable as you're doing it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just bring our arms out to the side again. We're going to gently squeeze our shoulder blades back, breathing in. Greatest love. Inhale. 
positive message. Greatest love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Inhale. Greatest love melts all blockages, transforms all life. Open up your chest, stretch out those pecs, relax the blood. Inhale. Greatest love melts all blockages, transforms all life. This time we're gonna just bring our hands down and then up. You see how my wrist is pointing up? My fingers are pointing up, breathing in. Greatest love. Inhale. Greatest love. Inhale. Greatest love. And we're going to just gather that light, bring it close to us. Inhale. Greatest love. And as you say greatest love, just reach those arms forward a little bit. Try to move the shoulder blades back. Like you're just kind of round your shoulder a little bit, but not like really round here. You're just kind of round from your shoulder blades to get a nice stretch in your traps a little bit here. Greatest love. Relax, what you can do is just try to retract those shoulder blades, like squeezing your shoulder blades together. And as you push forward again, protract, bring your shoulders forward. Greatest love. Stretching it all out, one more time. Gently squeeze back, inhale, and relax. Greatest love. Bring your arms back out to the side. Greatest love. Gently bow. Anytime your arms feel tired or you need to change positions, please do. Just go to what you feel comfortable. Now just feel your shoulders again as you did some of those stretches and you receive the greatest love and light. I know for me, I. Oh, much better. Just kind of even moving my neck around that kind of helped to relax. You can do your chin tuck and see how you feel if there's any stress still in your upper traps. And if it does have, just keep kind of doing some of those stretches and movements. So again, you can incorporate this. You may not be in the Tao because you can feel it you know, all the time. But again, when you're doing it, you can still connect to the greatest love some of you may have uh, the your own cards that you can connect with or you know um, trace as well and you can do the greatest love as you're doing your exercises as well that's another way that you can incorporate connecting to the positive message frequency and vibration but again we're very blessed to be in this Tao calligraphy field and truly one of the highest frequencies and vibrations as we're connecting now, relax the shoulders, deep breath in. This time again, we're going to just gently stretch our neck. We're going to bring our ear to shoulder. I'm going to just give a little stretch because I want a little bit more stretch through my upper traps here. And I'm going to just gently stretch again. Just feel comfortable. Inhale. Greatest love. Let go of all the tension, whole body, let's close them to the body. Drop the opposite um, arm that you're away, that's going away from the body, so you're bringing it. I'm bringing my ear to shoulder towards my right, but my left arm is just relaxed and trying to reach towards the floor. Inhale, greatest love. Coming back to center, when I come back to center, I give it a little bit of some stability so I can help to bring it back to the middle without any um, tension on my neck. Then we're going to go to the opposite side. Deep breath in, drop the shoulder down. Just feel that nice stretch. Greatest love. Again, if you do have any restrictions or cervical precautions or anything like that, just make sure you stay in um, your parameters or your restrictions, guidelines. 
for your mind. Inhale, breathe in slow. And if you are, you know, starting any new program or exercise program or what, make sure you continue to follow the advice of your health care professional. If being in the Tao Te Ching field is a wonderful way to complement all of the other practices, Western practices that are done, Western medicine. Deep breath in. Breathe as love. Inhale. Breathe as love. If you visualize a light radiating into the area, come back to center again. Kind of help your head a little bit. This time, we're all we're going to do is we're going to just bring our arms up overhead again, stretch it out, breathe and smile back into your lower abdomen. This time, we're going to come out again, just like Tai Chi movements, like putting a ball in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, breathe and smile. One more time, bring it in. Breathe and smile. This time, stretching out to the side diagonal. Inhale. Breathe and smile. Nice and slow, so you can just feel the movement, again, if any pain occurred, just stop, take a rest break, wait as long. Let's try again. If you had a hard time going one way or the other, and there was some restriction, try it again and see if you got more range of motion. Again, don't push it, just feel comfortable. Wait as long. Inhale. Feel that light also to your fingers. Inhale, breathe. We're just gonna gently do a stretch without a reflection. Great and slow. Inhale. Make sure you come back to center. Keep your balance. Keep your focus on your lower abdomen to stabilize that core in your back. Great and slow. And when we're in the field together, we're actually getting so much benefit because there's so many people here today thank you all 20 of us the field expands so it actually helps us even though we might do it only once or twice i really can feel like we we're doing it like 10 or even more and getting exponentially the field grows and our light is growing so we're receiving so much benefit i have so much energy actually right now let's do it one time like this just reaching overhead stretching out just feel that nice stretch all the way to your spine. Don't open up all your static area. You great as love. Bring it to center. Let it stop. Great as love. My time is going by so fast. So as we're connected, I wanted to trace, and I can't believe I'm already in the middle. So let's connect. We're going to trace this beautiful Tao Te Ching of Da I. Yes, everyone can make a request for a blessing. Also, as we are tracing, remember that greatest love melts all blockages, transforms all life. So you can either trace with your five fingers, connecting to the five elements if you're sitting, or once you just trace Da. Find that pathway, visualize that light radiating like it's in this beautiful golden path. And as it's 
here, it's going to transform and then visualize that message of greatest love in every cell, cell unit, DNA, RNA, DNA. Or you could do also Dao Kalevi Tai Chi movement tracing, where I'm going to face, I'm going to trace with my lower abdomen. And as you trace, you move gently, weight shifting. Visualize again that pathway radiating in beautiful gold and light. And as you're tracing, you're connecting with that positive message of greatest love. So dear the Tao calligraphy of greatest love, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please, that's my request for, you need to make a request for an aspect of your life that needs transformation as appropriate. Thank you. And also connect to your Tao Light treasures. We can also connect further. We've already turned them on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to sing greatest love. Okay, as we treat. Again, what we trace, what we say, what we think, what we do is what we become. So let's become one with the greatest love. Inhale. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, or you can see it in Mandarin as well. Da I 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 Greatest love you can follow along. Unconditional love melts all blockages, transforms all lives. Inhale. Greatest love. Unconditional love. Melt all blockages, transforms all life. Greatest love, unconditional love, melt all blockages. Transforms all that. And outside of me, you can trace, or if you want to just connect and meditate with the Tao calligraphy field in front of you. Silently, I'm just singing greatest love.
continue to trace or you can also silently connect. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Breathing in and allowing the light to just radiate within you and around you. Again, like a beautiful light bath that all 20 of us are in. So, see it. Mom, Ria, Akara, Amy. Auntie Betty, Brian, Claire, Irma, Gregory, Catherine, Maria, Marie, Marlene, Mercedes, Laurie, Tamara, Twyla, Wendy, and Kimberly. And connecting and aligning in this beautiful Tao calligraphy field that we are so blessed to be a part of, to be able to connect and align to this beautiful field that we have the honor to be further connected to the Tao and the source. To really become one with the positive messages of greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, harmony, flourishing, gratitude, service, and enlightenment as well as joy to have more hope, faith, belief, and to know that we all have the power to heal ourselves. Together, we all have the power to heal one another as well, to support each other. so that we can all transform every aspect of life to become happier and healthier, to spread more love, peace, and harmony. Thank you. We thank the Tao Calligraphy field. We thank Master Sha for creating the Tao Calligraphy field so that we have the opportunity to experience it and to offer our greatest love to one another, greatest compassion. Can't believe it's already eight o'clock. <laughs> I don't know, the time went by so fast for me. I was having so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And um, I'm so sorry, I, I don't think I, Posted anything. However, don't forget on Saturdays, you also have the Tao Quantum Healing in the morning. If you go to Master Shah's webpage at www.drshah.com for all of the events that will be coming up, um, I know there's a New Year's Eve event that's really amazing. So I believe it's December 30th. Um, he still, I believe, has the Instagram, the daily blessings, the water, Dao water. And uh, you can always go on YouTube as well to do any of the practices that Master Sha has or listen to the videos that talks about all of the um, upcoming events as well that he is, um, or things that he is doing through all of the Dao technology, as well as all of our Satori Family Wellness Center all of the events, we also continue to have our monthly group wellness. So three times a week, you can be in the Tao Calligraphy field, do different meditation practices. There's also the Love, Peace, Harmony field sessions, um, my mom's wellness classes, Laurie's Tao Calligraphy writing series. Um, I believe next month as well, the workshop that my mom always has. So we are so happy to serve you um, in so many ways, if you also want a personal consultation or there's uh, different 
professionals mm -hmm. with doll calligraphy, original doll calligraphies for the holidays. Oh, go ahead, mom. Did you want to share? Oh, I, I wanted to share that tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the special for Master Shaw's at Transformation Day. We do have an affiliate link. Um, I don't know if Brittany has that ready, uh, but we do have a link. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, sorry, I don't have anything in the chat, so I wasn't sure. But okay, great. So there, yeah, go to the Globe events. And if you do have any questions, you can always let us know, text us so that we can send you those links. Um, I know it's 802, but I wanted to just see if anybody has anything to share or I'm just so happy to be with all of you. How are you guys feeling? Hopefully some of the exercises made you feel a little less... Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for the exercise. It's so appropriate for um, this cold weather, you know, to get the body going and and relax the tension <laughs> because, you know, we tense up when it's cold, yeah. And so I found it very helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And that's you. true. I was cold all day, but when you come into the dial click, you feel, you know, the circulation, you just increase it. Again, when your blood circulates, the chi moves in your body and you get warmer. And it's really important during this time of year, too. So you're right, it's great for prevention to be here in the dial click field. So if you're part of the monthly wellness program as well or not, you can sign up tomorrow. We also have the exercises from 1030 to 1130 in the dial calligraphy field. We'll do a little a bit more energy circulation, you know, kind of exercises to help everybody stay um warm. Mercedes says, thank you, Jimmy, for your love and service. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Love you all. Thank you, Mercedes. And then Laurie put in the chat, if you want to copy and paste um, the link for the Dao Healing and Transformation Day, which is December 15th. So is that tomorrow? That's tomorrow. <laughs> the, the deadline is um, oh. December 15th, but the um, actually the event is in January. Oh, but if but you they... want the special discount, then if you register by tomorrow, you get like a 30% discount or something like that. Oh, wonderful. It, yeah. yeah. That's, good to know. That's good to know. So copy down this link so that you can um, get the early bird discount for the event in January. I'm going to copy it too. It comes with, I think, one or two really high level treasures. Yeah. I think it's two. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And what a way to start the new year as well. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful Thank you. Week. Have Good a night, week. everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Aloha. Bye bye. Thank you. Aloha. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. you. Thank you.